and AI, key for eternal life or biggest threat to the human race. Technological progress, particularly in artificial intelligence, is moving at such a rapid pace that Ray Kurzweil, Google's director of engineering, has forecasted the possibility of human immortality. Essentially, by merging advancements in computer technology with our understanding of the human brain and body, researchers are aiming to overcome the natural constraints of death. Meanwhile, Elon Musk has shared his perspective, stating, I'm really quite close to, or I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows, and the rate of improvement is exponential. And so therefore, there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on to confirm that everyone is uh, developing AI safely. Um, like, this is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. And mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Far. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. The direction in which they might develop independently and operate without human intervention is uncertain. History has shown us examples of technologically advanced civilizations capable of constructing pyramids that have mysteriously vanished. This raises questions among people about whether our own advancements in technology could potentially lead to our disappearance. We ponder. Who holds the truth? On one hand, there are predictions claiming humans will evolve into deities, creating a new form of life through the fusion of humanity and machinery, surpassing all other forms of life on Earth. On the other, there are warnings that artificial intelligence might wipe out humanity if it escapes our control. What direction is this world taking? Regardless of our desires, scientists and the governments of numerous nations are advancing these technologies, and it appears that no obstacle can halt their progress. Consequently, the world as we know it is bound to change soon. The real question now is, what path is the world on, and what will our place be in the future that's unfolding? The 2045 Initiative, a not-for-profit entity, is at the forefront of building a global network and community dedicated to the research of life extension. Its primary focus lies in the integration of brain simulations and robotics to develop cyborg-like entities. Launched by the Russian entrepreneur Dmitry Itzkov in February 2011, the initiative gathered a think tank of Russian specialists in neural interfaces, robotics, and synthetic organs and systems. However, its collaborative efforts span worldwide, working alongside international experts. According to its online presence at 2045.com, the initiative's overarching mission is to engineer technologies capable of transferring an individual's consciousness into an advanced non-biological host, thereby achieving a form of eternal life. Essentially, the aim is to develop a method for migrating an individual's consciousness, memories, ethical beliefs, and distinctive personality traits into a digital format, likely within an artificial intelligence system. Should this human essence be successfully transferred to and integrated within an AI-driven humanoid robot, it is believed that this could enable individuals to achieve immortality. Maintenance would involve simple repairs to any mechanical issues, allowing the personality to persist indefinitely through AI, barring any catastrophic destruction of the robot itself. In theory, this would allow for a potentially infinite lifespan, limited only by unforeseeable accidents that result in the robot's total destruction. At the World Economic Forum Congress, history professor Yuval Noah Harari offered a perspective on the future of digital technology in his speech between the German Chancellor and the French Prime Minister. How exactly will the future masters of the planet look like? This will be decided by the people who own the data. Now, why is data so important? It's important because we've reached the point when we can hack not just computers, we can hack human beings and other organisms. Now, what do you need in order to hack a human being? 
you need two things. You need a lot of computing power, and you need a lot of data, especially biometric data. But control of data might enable human elites to do something even more radical than just build digital dictatorships. By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. Because once you can hack something, you can usually also engineer it. All of life for four billion years, dinosaurs, amoebas, tomatoes, humans, all of life was subject to the laws of natural selection and to the laws of organic biochemistry. But this is now about to change. Science is replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds, but our intelligent design and the intelligent design of our clouds, the IBM cloud, the Microsoft cloud, these are the new driving forces of evolution. And at the same time, science may enable life, after being confined to, for four billion years to the limited realm of organic compounds, science may ena enable life to break out into the inorganic realm. In the past, owning land was the key asset. When a small number of people owned too much land, society split into aristocrats and commoners. Later, in the last 200 years, the significance of land was overtaken by machines and factories as the paramount asset. This led to concentration in the hands of a few, creating divisions into capitalists and the working class. Today, data has emerged as the most crucial asset, surpassing machines in value. Should an excessive amount of data become centralized under the control of a few, humanity won't just be categorized into social classes. It will evolve into entirely different entities. A select few have dominated the terrain, machinery, and now the critical data that dictates the future existence on Earth. What makes data so crucial? It's because humanity has arrived at a juncture where it's possible to hack into the human body and alter it significantly. Hacking involves programmers illegally accessing and modifying the structure of someone else's computer, email, bank account, or mobile phone software, allowing the hacker to obtain personal advantages at the expense of the program's legitimate users. Humans cannot create new life from scratch, but instead manipulate existing life to fit their own purposes, including both noble goals and destructive whims. Mapping the human genome was once a Herculean task, costing 15 years and $3 billion. But now, our DNA can be analyzed in mere days for a fraction of the cost, thanks to accessible online services. With comprehensive insights into the brain's structure and functions, and the processing power to handle such complex data, scientists are optimistic about enhancing human cognitive abilities. They envision technology that could simulate brain functions, potentially transforming an average individual into a genius. Contemporary science suggests that all living beings, from viruses to humans, are essentially complex biochemical codes. If we decode these through a blend of information and biotechnology, such as gene editing and interpreting brain signals, experts argue we could eventually hack the human species. The direction in which humans evolve, or how artificial intelligence influences this evolution, will dictate the future of humanity, and possibly all life. Joel Noah posits that we may be among the last generations of Homo sapiens, predicting that in a century or two, beings as distinct from us as we are, from primates, will inhabit the earth. The primary commodities of the 21st century economy are believed to be not textiles, vehicles, or weaponry, but enhanced bodies, brains, and minds. It's expected that humans will evolve into whatever new species they design. Despite previous revolutions, the essence of humanity has remained unchanged, with consistent physical and mental capabilities. Now, science approaches a pivotal moment, capable of fundamentally transforming humans into a superior, different entity. This pending revolution promises to overhaul human physiology and cognition, paving the way for a species far removed from Homo sapiens. Science fiction has long envisioned advanced technology, from spaceships traveling at light speed to intelligent robots. 
Yet, the concept of altering human DNA and physiology to birth a new species represents a frontier even speculative narratives have barely touched. Laws exist for managing land and industrial machinery ownership. Yet, regulations for data ownership, like individual DNA, remain undeveloped. Who owns the information about my DNA, my brain, and my body? Is it mine, or does it belong to companies, the government, or even humanity as a whole? What happens to my data? Will it be used for my benefit or for manipulation? Consider insurance firms possibly hiking premiums based on genetic markers indicating disease susceptibility. A gene could mean paying twice as much. Job applications might one day require DNA samples instead of resumes, with employers preferring candidates based on genetic backgrounds linked to less problematic traits. Would claims of genetic discrimination be taken seriously? Or is this the new norm? Presently, massive corporations control extensive data pools, prompting public concern. Without clear data, ownership laws, a select few could dictate not just human societal progress, but also evolutionary directions. Thus, determining data ownership rules is critical for shaping humanities and the planet's future. The creation of the computer has intensified the belief that humans are not the apex of evolutionary progress. Instead, the assumed natural progression from one species to another hints at a successor to humankind. Technology visionaries propose that this successor should be a fusion between humans and computers. The endeavor to use technology to craft a new species from ourselves is not the rhetoric of fringe groups, but comes from scientists regarded as leaders in their field. During a session at the World Economic Forum, Yuval Noah Harari, made remarks reflecting this perspective. Science is replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds, but our intelligent design and the intelligent design of our clouds, the IBM cloud, the Microsoft cloud, these are the new driving forces of evolution. And at the same time, science may enable life after being confined to, for four billion years to the limited realm of organic compounds science may ena enable life to break out into the inorganic realm through the manipulation of organisms humans have unlocked the capability to modify existing life forms and invent new ones innovators herald these advancements as miraculous transformations akin to a caterpillar metamorphosing into a butterfly, a process beyond the caterpillar's comprehension. Scientists proclaim their intention to forge a new, enhanced human species, predicting the obsolescence of Homo sapiens. They argue that evolutionary advancements have progressed from African primates to Homo sapiens, now the dominant species, yet refuse to wait for gradual genetic mutations to develop superhumans. Instead, they aim to catalyze a cognitive leap through genetic engineering, transforming Homo sapiens into beings as distinct from us as we are from monkeys. This endeavor, they assert, represents intelligent design rather than natural evolution. Altering DNA is essential for creating a new entity or species, as merely interfacing the human brain with technology or crafting machines with superior capabilities doesn't birth a new life form. A machine, even if capable of self-repair and enhancing other machines, does not constitute a new living species. The view of humans as mere survival-driven animals without moral considerations poses significant challenges in an era dominated by artificial intelligence. Amidst efforts to birth novel life forms on Earth, distinguishing what it means to be human becomes increasingly complex.